The Pakistan national football team represents Pakistan Association football in FIFA authorized events and is controlled by the Pakistan Football Federation, the governing body for football in Pakistan. Pakistan's home ground is Punjab Stadium, Lahore. Pakistan became a member of FIFA in 1948 joining the Asian Football Confederation. Pakistan's national team debuted in 1950. Pakistan contest the South Asian Football Federation Championship and South Asian Games, which alternate biennially. Pakistan won the Colombo Cup in 1952. Pakistan has great record in South Asian Games, won four gold medals in 1989, 1991, 2004, 2006 and won one bronze medal in 1987 respectively. History. Topic: 1950s Pakistan's international debut. Pakistan made its international debut on a tour to Iran and Iraq in October 1950. Pakistan lost its first match 5-1 against Iran. Pakistan's next international outing came in the Colombo Cup, where the team played its first match against India, which ended in a goalless draw. During the 50s, Pakistan played internationally in the following Colombo Cup editions which were played in India in 1954, then East Pakistan in 1955, and the Asian Games in Philippines in 1954 and in Japan in 1958. Early 1960s and 1970s In the early 1960s, Pakistan produced one of the finest players to ever grace the field in Pakistan football history. Abdul Ghaffur Majna was nicknamed the Pakistani Pele and Black Pearl of Pakistan. Ghaffur was part of Pakistan national football team setup when it was in the top ten teams of Asia. According to the Express Tribune, he was the last man alive from the days when the Pakistan football team was good enough to beat USSR, UAE and China, a far cry from the state of affairs right now." It was three years before Pakistan played another competitive fixture, when they played in the first RDC Cup and finished third. In 1967, they played a series of friendlies against Saudi Arabia, all ending in draws. Later in the year Pakistan lost their Asian Cup qualifiers against Burma and Khmer and drew their final match against India. They then hosted the second RDC Cup and finished third, which included the 4–7 defeat to Turkey. In 1969, they travelled to Iran to take part in a friendly tournament, in which they had a 2–1 win against Iraq and a record 9–1 defeat by Iran. As a result of the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War, East Pakistan became the People's Republic of Bangladesh and consequently the Pakistani team lost the right to call upon Bengali players. In the early 1970s the national side's participation was restricted to the RDC Cup and the 1974 Asian Games, and a single friendly against South Korea in 1978. The most notable result in this period was a 2–2 draw against Turkey. They also lost 8 to 0 to Kenya in Riyadh Saudi Arabia's Arabi tournament. Topic 1980 to 1990 rise and fall. In the Kings Cup in 1982, Pakistan secured a goalless draw against Indonesia, the team's first clean sheet since 1962. After a loss to Thailand, they gained a 3–2 victory versus Malaysia and although they lost a close game against China, they were able to win 1–0 in their final game against Singapore. Pakistan hosted a friendly tournament involving Iran, Bangladesh, Oman and Nepal in 1982. The Green Shirts started off with a 2–1 over Bangladesh. They lost to Iran, but came back and beat Nepal 2–0. The last game against Oman ended nil-nil and Pakistan ended the tournament as runners-up. However, in 1984, the national team lost four out of five games in the Asian Cup qualifiers, the only victory coming against North Yemen 4–1. The national team hosted another tournament in 1985, this time inviting North Korea, Indonesia, Bangladesh and Nepal. A goalless draw against the North Koreans boosted the side, and they beat Nepal 1–0. 
However, losses in the final two games against Bangladesh and Indonesia meant they were again runners-up. In the South Asian Games, Pakistan ended fourth after losing a penalty shootout to Nepal. In the 1986 Asian Games, Pakistan lost all their games. However, a year later the side was more successful at the South Asian Games, winning the bronze medal match against Bangladesh 1–0. In 1988, they lost all their Asian Cup qualifiers. Pakistan made their first attempt to qualify for the World Cup in 1989. However, they were unable to win any of their matches. The national team bounced back, when several months later they took gold at the South Asian Games, beating Bangladesh 1–0 in the final. Topic: 1990s to 2003 decline. Pakistan had another early exit in the Asian Games, losing all three games in 1990. In the 1991 South Asian Games, Pakistan beat the Maldives in the final 2–0 to win their second gold. The next year, they failed to qualify for another Asian Cup after defeats in both qualifiers. After a World Cup qualifying campaign in 1993, where in one game they lost to Iraq 8–0. Later in the year, the first SAF Cup took place, and the national team finished fourth. But at the 1993 South Asian Games, they were unable to get past the group stage. In 1995, Pakistan went out of the SAF Cup group stage on goal difference. Between 1996 and 1997, the team lost all their Asian Cup and World Cup qualifying games. Pakistan came third in the 1997 SAF Cup, thanks to a 1–0 victory over Sri Lanka in the third-place playoff. The 1999 SAF Cup saw Pakistan finish bottom of their group, and Pakistan also failed to get out of the group stage of the final South Asian Games to hold full internationals. Pakistan were unable to win any of their 2000 Asian Cup qualifiers. The following year Pakistan achieved their first point in World Cup qualification, thanks to a hat-trick by Gohar Zaman in a 3–3 draw against Sri Lanka, but all other matches ended in defeat. In 2002, Pakistan played in an unsuccessful four-match series against Sri Lanka. At the 2003 SAF Cup, Pakistan finished fourth, losing 2–1 in extra time to India in the third-place playoff. Later in the year, Pakistan won their first Asian Cup qualifier with a 3–0 over Macau, but still were unable to qualify. They rounded off the year with defeats to Kyrgyzstan in the World Cup qualifiers. 2004–2013 New setup and changes 2004 saw changes in Pakistan football, with a new administration in place by this time and a new national league up and running. A victory against India in a three-match series, the final match ending 3–0 to the Greenshirts, followed, and they went on the reach the semi-finals of the 2005 SAF Cup. They lost the semi-final against defending champion Bangladesh by 0–1 margin. The Pakistan team lost their first two Asian Cup qualifiers in 2006, in between which they took part in the first AFC Challenge Cup 2006. They failed to get past the group stage, but beat Kyrgyzstan 1–0. Back at the Asian Cup qualifiers, they lost their remaining fixtures. In the World Cup qualifiers in 2007, they fell to a heavy defeat by the Asian champions Iraq and after the 7–0 loss, little was expected on them in the second leg. However, the Greenshirts held them to a goalless draw. In 2008, Pakistan travelled to Nepal for two friendlies before taking on the AFC Challenge Cup qualifiers. Although they won against Chinese Taipei 2–1 in the first match, and beat Guam in a record equaling 9–2 win in the final match, other results, including a 7–1 defeat to Sri Lanka, saw them again fail to reach the finals. In the SAF Championship 2008, Pakistan failed to go beyond the group stages, losing to Maldives 3–0, India 2–1 and Nepal 4–1, which signalled the end of actor Mohiuddin's tenure as head coach. After Mohiuddin's departure, Austrian-Hungarian coach George Cotton was hired and the veteran tactician took a star-studded team to the SAF Championship 2009. Despite calling upon foreign players such as Adnan Ahmed, Shabir Khan, Amjad Iqbal, Adif Bashir and Reese Ashraf, the side were unable were defeat 1–0 by Sri Lanka, before drawing 0–0 with Bangladesh as former Manchester United star Adnan missed a late penalty to seal a win. 
Pakistan won against Bhutan 7–0 in their last game. Cotton was soon sacked in February 2010. Pakistan had no senior games during the entire calendar year but saw the appointment of Tottenham Hotspur legend Graham Roberts for the U23 team. For the AFC Challenge Cup 2012 qualifiers in 2011, KRLFC coach Tariq Lutfi was called up once more and failed to deliver emphatically. Defeats such as the 3–0 against Turkmenistan and 3–1 against India meant that the side were already out of the qualifiers despite beating Chinese Taipei by 2–0. Later in the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifiers in July, Bangladesh thoroughly beat Pakistan 3–0 in Dhaka, before earning a 0–0 draw in Lahore a few days later. That saw the end of Lutfi's reign, with Serbian boss Zavi Zamilosevjevic taking over in November 2011 right before the SAF Championship 2011. Despite having little time to influence the team, Zaviza managed to hold Bangladesh 0–0, Maldives 0–0 and Nepal 1–1 in the India-hosted SAF Championship 2011. However, they were unable to progress into the semi-finals and returned home. 2012's Seoul game was witnessed in November against Singapore, who thrashed Pakistan 4–0 at home. Pakistan then started 2013 with a bang, winning two games against Nepal with identical 1–0 margins thanks to the brilliance of Hassan Bashir. A 1–1 draw with Maldives followed, but with congested fixtures Pakistan ended up losing the last game 3–0 in mail. Pakistan then played the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup qualification in Bishkek, losing out 1 0 to Tajikistan in injury time. Pakistan also lost 1 0 against the Kyrgyzstan after scoring in the first minute, but with Hassan Bashir returning, Pakistan comfortably beat Macau 2 0. Pakistan played a friendly against Afghanistan in August, losing 3 0 emphatically without their foreign based players. Coach Zaviza Milosevjevic was sacked and replaced by Bahrain's Mohamed Al Shamlin, who acted as a coaching consultant to Shahzad Anwar in the 2013 SAF Championship. The Shaheens played their hearts out, but were unable to defeat India and lost 1 0 after a horrendous own goal from Akib Riaz. Against hosts Nepal, Hassan Bashir scored an early goal, only to see 15 year old Bimal Garti Magar level things in injury time. However, Pakistan beat Bangladesh 2–1 and were unlucky not to reach the semi-finals after losing out on head-to-head -head with India. Pakistan did not qualify for the 2014 FIFA World Cup, being eliminated by Bangladesh in the first round of the AFC qualifying section, losing the first game 3–0, but drawing 0–0 in the return game, being 3–0 as the aggregate score. In 2014, Pakistan played a two-match friendly series with India. All matches were played at Bangalore Stadium in India. India beat Pakistan 1–0 in the first friendly, leading the series, but Pakistan won the second match 0–2. For Pakistan's campaign for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, they were to face Yemen in Round 1 in the AFC qualifying section. In the first match, Pakistan lost 3–1. For the second match, Pakistan drew 0–0, Yemen eliminating Pakistan from the tournament with an aggregate score of 3–1 in favour of Yemen. FIFA suspension Pakistan was suspended from all football activities by FIFA on 10 October 2017. Post-suspension FIFA restored membership of PFF on March 13, 2018. With Asian Games approaching in August and SAF Cup in September, Pakistan football team had very less time to prepare. PFF announced the signing of new Brazilian coach José Antonio Nogueira and started camps in Lahore. The team played friendlies in Bahrain with their premier clubs from mid of July till end of it. Pakistan lost one, drew one and won two matches in Bahrain. Then, Pakistan national under-23 football team along with three senior players flew to Indonesia in mid-August to take part in Asian Games. On August 14, 2018, the team played its first group game against the then runner-ups of 2018 AFC U23 Championship which resulted in a 3–0 loss. 
On August 16, 2018, the team faced a loss against Japan by a scoreline of 4–0. Pakistan defeated Nepal by 2–1 in their final group game which was the former's first win in Asian Games after 44 years. Pakistan expected to qualify for knockouts being third in the group. However, the team fell short in terms of goal difference. Pakistan's senior team went to Bangladesh to take part in SAF Cup which started in September, 2018 which was their first FIFA-recognized tournament after a span of three years. Pakistani descent footballer Adnan Muhammad wasn't issued visa by Bengali authorities to participate in the competition. Pakistan played its first match of the event against Nepal 40 ranks higher than the former then on September 4, 2018 which ended in a 2–1 win. This match also included Muhammad Ali's late stoppage time header to claim the winner as Pakistan got three crucial points. Pakistan lost its next match to hosts Bangladesh on September 6, 2018 by 1–0 after conceding a late goal. Green Shirts played their final group game against Bhutan on September 8, 2018 which ended in a 3–0 win and sealed their place in semis after 13 years. Pakistan faced arch-rivals India in semi-final on September 12, 2018 and were ultimately knocked out by 3–1. After first half being goalless, Manveer Singh's brace and Summit Posse's header allowed the Blues to go 3–0 ahead. Hassan Bashir late consolation goal decreased the margin by one goal. It was a brilliant performance by Pakistani team despite returning to international football after three years. Star footballer Kalimula Khan wasn't a part of these events due to his disputes with PFF authorities. After SAF Cup, Pakistan negotiated with Palestine Football Association for a friendly. It was initially reported that the match will be played in Lahore, Pakistan on November 15, 2018 but Palestine decided to host the event afterwards. Due to visa issues, Pakistan team couldn't fly to Palestine on the desired date. So, the match was played on November 16 in which Shaheen's lost by 2–1. Hassan Bashir scored the only goal for Pakistan in first 30 minutes which was assisted by debutante Adnan Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Grounds and uniform Stadiums. <laughs> 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 For the first 50 years of their existence, Pakistan played their home matches all around the country. They initially used cricket grounds before later moving on to football stadiums. Pakistan played at a number of different venues across the country, though by the year 2003 this had largely settled down to having Punjab Stadium as the primary venue, with Jinnah Sports Stadium and People's Football Stadium used on occasions where Punjab Stadium was unavailable for home matches. The Pakistan Football Federation has its headquarters near the stadium. It recently hosted most of the matches for the AFC President's Cup 2007. Mohammad Issa was the first man to score an international goal at this venue when he surged Pakistan ahead against India in June 2005. <laughs> Kit The Pakistan national team's home kit has always been a green shirt and white shorts. The colors are derived from the flag of Pakistan which is a green field with a white crescent moon and five rayed star at its center, and a vertical white stripe at the hoist side. The away shirt color has changed several times. The national team has used white shirt with white shorts or white shirt with green shorts. Historically, white shirt with green shorts is the most often used color combination. The kits are currently manufactured by Forward Sports. Forward Sports is the official provider of balls for FIFA World Cup 2014 and FIFA World Cup 2018. The company came into prominence for landing the contract of over 3,000 brazuca balls that were used at the FIFA World Cup 2014 in Brazil. Bloomberg and BBC are among many news agencies that have covered the company. Topic: <laughs> Kit suppliers. Players and management The following 17 players are called for match against Palestine on November 16, 2018. Current squad Top 
Topic: <laughs> Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called for the national team in recent matches. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current staff. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Results and fixtures. For all past match results of the national team, see the team's results page. Win Draw Loss Topic 2018 Topic Coaches Topic Pakistan team in FIFA World Ranking Source www.fifa.com Topic Honors and Recognition Topic Other Records Biggest Win Nine to Two Guam, Taiwan, the sixth of April two thousand eight Topic: Pakistan's all-time records. Last match updated: India on the 12th of September 2018. Topic: Tournament records. Topic: FIFA World Cup. Topic AFC Asian Cup Topic AFC Challenge Cup The AFC Challenge Cup was held every two years from two thousand six through twenty fourteen. Topic Asian Games Football at the Asian Games has been an under-23 tournament since 2002. SAF Championship See also Pakistan national under-23 football team Pakistan national under 20 football team Pakistan national under 17 football team Pakistan football federation <laughs>